Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering decimal models. So we're going to be taking a look at a model and then writing out the decimal that that model represents. And in this specific video, we're going to be taking a look at hundredths. So we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump into number one here where we have one whole square. Now is that whole square filled in? No. So we have something less than a whole. So we need a decimal to represent that. So that square is cut into 100 equal pieces. Each of those little pieces is worth one hundredth but we have more than one filled in. So let's see how many hundredths are filled in and that's the decimal that we will write out. So each one of the columns going up and down has 10. So we don't need to count each individual little square or piece. So this would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So now we'll count the individual um, pieces or hundredths in this column because we don't have a full column of 10 filled in. So this would be 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, and 78. So we have 78 hundredths. So in order to write that out as a decimal, we'll start with a zero because we don't have a whole number, then our decimal, and then we have 78 hundredths. Now we can also write that decimal as a fraction by writing 78 hundredths, 78 out of 100. Now that decimal and fraction are equivalent. They hold the same value and they both have the same name, 78 hundredths. One is just a decimal and one is a fraction. Two different ways to represent that model. So let's move on to number two here where we have, again, hundredths, and we need to see how many hundredths are filled in. So we do not have any full columns filled up, so we need to count these individually. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundredths. So the most common mistake with number two is going zero holes here, decimal, and then putting the nine in the tenths place. Now, nine tenths is different than nine hundredths. Nine tenths is actually equivalent to 90 hundredths. So we don't have 90 hundredths filled in there. So most common mistake is putting the nine in the tenths place. What we need to do is use a placeholder zero to bump the nine over to the hundredths place, and now we have nine hundredths. Or we can write it as a fraction, nine hundredths, nine out of 100. So on to number three, and with numbers three and four, we actually have whole numbers and then a decimal or fraction. So for example, number three, our first square here is completely filled in. So that represents one whole. And then we have our decimal portion over here. So we have one hundredth, two hundredths, three hundredths, four hundredths, five hundredths. So one whole and five hundredths. So we would represent that one and five hundredths. Now remember, don't put a decimal and then a five. That's five tenths. So that would be a common mistake, just like number two. So we need a placeholder zero to bump that five over to the hundredths and now that's one and five hundredths, or with a fraction, one and five hundredths. On to the last one here, number four, where we have one hole, two holes, and then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two and 87 hundredths. So two holes and 87 hundredths. Or with a fraction, two and 87 hundredths. So there you have it. There's how you take a look at a decimal model and then write out um, the decimal or fraction that that model represents. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, 
Peace.